Welcome to CNC Learn and Build. I'm Randy Johnson. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to use the Shark RS1000 Pro CNC router table to cut a variety of joints using the built-in apps. The RS1000 Pro comes with over a dozen joinery apps, and you can find links to all of them in the description below this video. It's also worth pointing out that all of the apps use the same basic nine steps. And I'll cover each of them in detail. But I think you'll find once you become familiar with them that operating the RS1000 Pro is pretty straightforward. In this video, I'm going to set up and run the Dato app on the RS1000 Pro. The Dato app allows you to precisely set the width and the depth of the Dato, as well as its distance from the edge of the board, all for a perfect fit. It's one of my favorite apps. The first step, of course, is to install the bit. For this data joint, I'm using a quarter inch diameter up spiral end mill. Once the bit is installed, open the settings screen and enter the diameter for the bit. There are a couple of places on the pendant where you can enter the bit diameter, but I prefer to enter it right away to avoid errors later. And it's also needed for the fence calibration, which I'll do shortly. Next, open the apps menu and select the touch plate calibration. And then click on bit calibration. Click through to the white control button and use the buttons to lower the bit below the table. Now connect the magnet to the router bit or the collet. Touch the plate to the bit to verify that you have a good connection. Press OK to proceed with the bit calibration. The bit will rise up, touch the bottom of the plate, and then go back down below the table. You can now proceed to the fence calibration. Once again, use the white control button to open up the control panel and raise the bit above the table, as well as bring the fence forward. Use the touch plate on top of the bit to align the flutes square with the fence. This ensures that the high point of the flute is closest to the fence. This in return will give you the most accurate results when calibrating the fence. Position the plate between the fence and the bit and proceed with the fence calibration routine. From here, go back to the main menu and back off the fence so you can replace the insert ring. Then open the apps menu and go to the Dato Joint app. Press the button at the top right of the screen to open the app. This reveals a list of parameters that must be set up. Starting at the bottom of the list, first set the bit height. This is actually the depth that you want your dado. In this case, I'm setting it to a quarter inch. Next, set the start offset, which is the distance from the edge of the board that you want your dado. This is also the edge of the board that will go against the fence when you're routing the dado. For this project, I'm setting it at one inch. Next up is the data width. This is where you can really take advantage of the digital CNC nature of the RS1000 Pro. By carefully measuring your material, enter whatever width you need for a perfect fit. No matter the thickness of your plywood, 
or if you want a loose or tight fit. I want a snug fit on this board, so I'm starting with the same measurement I got when I measured the thickness. Even though the bit diameter carries over from what I entered earlier, it's still a good idea to double check it here. You're now ready to run the app. The fence automatically positions itself for the first cut. Use a push pad to run the first cut. Press OK to run the second cut and continue this process until the app is complete. Now you can check the fit, which in my case proves to be too snug. To loosen the fit, I simply go back into the app and add some width to the dado. For this dado, I'll start with an additional five thousandths. I then go back to the app and click through to the last cut, since that's where the five thousandths is added. Well, it's still too snug, so I'll add another five thousandths. There, now that's perfect. Even though I had to adjust it twice, it was still easier than manually nudging or bumping the fence over. For videos on other RS1000 apps, check out the links in the description below this video.